morning. <coughs> yes. Contact has been made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, nothing, sorry. <laughs> um, I'd come, I'd like to be accredited as a Doctor Who fan, please. Well, you, you've come to the right place. Have a seat. Oh, have a seat. Thank you. I'll, I'll, t I'll take you through the accreditation procedure. Oh, thank you. Here. Now, don't worry. It's quite painless. You just need to ask me a few questions just to assess your suitability to be a Doctor Who fan. Mm. So, one moment. Let me just look through what I've got here in terms of questions for you. <laughs> oh. Here we are. Here we are. Now, good. Now, these questions are designed to assess your suitability for official accreditation as a Doctor Who fan. So, please answer as truthfully as you can, because you see the machines to which you'll be connected, they're terribly sensitive. They'll detect immediately any attempt to lie. Sorry? <laughs> It's just my little joke. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Question one. Did you ever edit a fanzine when you were in the fourth year at school? Yes. What was it called? Tobias Vaughan's Table Talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Did you persuade the local vicar to let you reproduce it on the church's duplicator? Yes. And when you were typing it, did you get pink correcting fluid all over your fingers and all over the typewriter? Yes. That's very good. <laughs> did you get a Saturday job so that you could save up an extortionate amount of money to buy a VHS of Revenge of the Cybermen? <laughs> <laughs> Some dodgy bloke in Australia or something. Oh, yes. Good. And did it turn out to be a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy so that the picture looked like blobs in a snowstorm and the Cybermen seemed to be back at the South Pole? Yes. Splendid, splendid. Uh, did you ever write a full-length Doctor Who novel and submit it on spec to Justin Richards at the BBC? Oh, yes. So what was it about? It was a race of giant space hippos who persuaded Henry VIII to dissolve the monasteries so that they could use them as their breeding grounds. Well, that sounds entirely suitable. <laughs> did you play Doctor Who? Did you used to play Doctor Who and the Daleks in the playground when you were about seven years old? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And what part did you always play? Well, the Doctor, of course, always. Correct. When you were very little, did you pour the washing up liquid from washing up liquid bottles into jam jars as soon as they arrived home from the supermarket so that you could make those bottles into Daleks? Yes. <laughs> of course you did. Now, in the days before VHS was commercially available, did you record the soundtrack of Doctor Who on audio cassette with a microphone dangling above the speaker of the television? Oh, yes. And uh, did you commit them to memory by playing them back at least 75 times? At least, yes. <laughs> so, on how many tapes would you say you could hear the dog barking or your mum saying, tea's ready? Or shuffling your brother to stop him talking so it wouldn't come out on the tape. Oh, all of them. Well, that's very good. <laughs> very good. Did you, did you ever pinch the tyre pressure gauge from the glove compartment of your parents' car because it looked like a sonic screwdriver? Yes. <laughs> did you ever sit down and listen to Doctor Who sound effects records uh, on the stereo from beginning to end? Yes, I did. So which was your favourite track? Um, probably Gallifrey and Stazer, Three Blasts. <laughs> good, very good. So in 1960, in, beg your pardon, 1996, 1996, mm -hmm. 
Did you buy the Paul McGann film on VHS so that you could watch it three days before it was shown on TV? Oh, well, of course I did. Well, excellent. We're doing pretty well so far. Oh, good. <clears throat> did you begin and then abandon a project to build a full-size Dalek in your bedroom? Yes. Using the plans from... The Radio Times 10th anniversary special. <laughs> I just wanted to check the veracity of that statement. Now, you need to tell me how many ballcocks you had to buy from B&Q. 24 for the base, plus two for the soccer and gun, and one for the eye. Is the right answer. Very good. So, how much of the garlic did you build before you got thoroughly sick of it? Oh, well, up to the shoulders section, and then I realised it, it was, was too big, big to, to go through the, the bedroom, bedroom door. door. Yes. <laughs> right, yes. Did you bully your parents into taking you to Longleat and to Blackpool every year? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And did you also apply emotional pressure on them? to switch to buying Thai food tea when they were giving away free Doctor Who on our oh, part. yes. Uh, was that the same with Weetabix? Yes. Good. And did you write a letter to those nice people at Weetabix saying how much you liked their Doctor Who cards in the hope that they'd think you were a lovely child and could you please send some more to me? Mm, indeed. Yes. Uh, did they? Oh, you bet. <laughs> Good. Were you ever even so much as tempted to watch Buck Rogers in the 25th century when ITV scheduled it against the leisure hive? Never in a million years. Well, that's correct. You're relieved, <laughs> certainly. You're doing quite well so far. Now, we need to move on, really, to round two now. OK. Is that all right? Yep. <clears throat> I'm ready. This checks your knowledge of Doctor Who to see whether you qualify as a genuine Doctor Who fan. Ready? Go for it. <clears throat> what do Edmund Waddick and Brian Proudfoot have in common? They both doubled for William Hartnell in the 60s. Correct. Which of the Doctor's companions' real name was Dorothy? Uh, Ace. And who played her? Uh, someone called Sophie Aldred. <laughs> Wicked! <laughs> Which of these is different from the others? Hartnell, Troughton, Pertwee, Tom Baker, Davison, Colin Baker, McCoy, McGann, Eccleston, Tennant, Smith, Capaldi, Whittaker. Oh, Jodie Whittaker. Because... Well, none of the others come from Yorkshire. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> What was the scheduled broadcast time for the following episodes? The Seeds of Doom, part five, Inferno, part two, The Savages, part three, and Meglos, part one. Uh, 5.45, 5.15, 5.35, and 6.15 p.m. Correct. <laughs> Who voiced K-9? Oh, David Briley. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll let that one go. <laughs> so at the end of that round, you scored you scored a total of nine out of ten. That's a very good score. And I'm very pleased to tell you that given your excellent answers to, and to those and to the other questions, you now qualify to become a Doctor Who fan. Oh, oh Many thank congratulations. You. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>